Appreciate it though. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you all for coming. Got a great Thank set up here, and today it's a table talk talking about healthy habits. And first of all, I think what we need to do is define what health is. It's a sign of your physical, mental, and social health well being, and trying to maximize that as much as possible, not just not having a disease. And then following on from that, healthy habits are are a series of behaviours which are beneficial to someone's health and um, physical well-being. But it's a combination of routines and looking at areas such as your eating, sleeping, resting and socialising as well. So looking at all those factors. So first question to everyone is, what does healthy habits mean to you? So could you introduce yourself and yes. let everyone know yeah, your I'm background Maverick as well? I'm Vinales, I'm riding a MotoGP bike. Great, so great, great name, by the way. <laughs> great great name. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I feel the speed always. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I ride for Aprilia. That's the, the factory bike. And uh, for me, healthy habit means, you know, peace of mind. To be uh, well rested for me is trying to find this, this peace of mind, mm. which it gives you also a room, you know, also to, to become more focused when it's the time to, to be on, on the track. Having a healthy habit and especially on mental side, for me, it's very important. Healthy habits are very important in general in life because you have to be well prepared physically, but also mentally. How I deal with the stress, I try to do sport. Uh, I try to do a lot, of, a lot of things, not just riding bikes. So one of the best things for me to take out the stress is cycling. But also I like to read. It is very different, eh? but sometimes when I read, I also relax. And it's something also that takes the stress out. My name is Patrick Young, 30 years old from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I am a former retired professional basketball player. I played professionally for Gallus Tasserai in Turkey, Olympiacos for two years, uh, Milan and Avellino and after retiring I began a career with the SEC network where I currently work as a college basketball analyst. My habits or, or my convictions and my faith first off were an important aspect for me to pre be prepared for circumstances and my life to change. Um, I've understood that um, having my identity already rooted in things greater than just what I can do and uh, being able to have the lens of gratitude in my life prepared me for when life was going to change or if things were, the circumstances were to change because you know, no one can really prepare exactly for uh, such a life change as getting in a car accident and being told you may never walk again. Huge credit to my wife um, being that person that not only picks me up but also pushes me. Uh, when I need that that nudge to get back on track to being the man that I know I am. Get it? Did you get it? I got it. When everything in your life is changed, you know, um, what remains is is your foundation. Um, and so, you know, that's that's just been so important for our family. Yeah, I would love to You know, when, when you go through life, huge life changing events, um, as a couple, you know, you have to, you know, be a unit. Um, but then within that unit, obviously, you know, he has to be good and I have to be good. Even when Patrick, his accident first happened, we were in Sioux Falls for two weeks, I continued to go to the gym. Um, I, I went to the gym at least five days a week. Um, and, you know, even when we were in Denver for 45 days, I got a gym membership. So. To me, healthy habits, um, you set them 
during your time when, when life isn't crazy. Um, and then, you know, when you need them, um, you know, you have that. Uh, for healthy habits to me, uh, what's so cool about habits in general is that we create them. Mm. Usually it's attached to some type of goal or identity who we want to be as people. And habits are, they're hard to create. Yeah, it takes discipline. Definitely. And uh, my life has become a lot more free now that I have this discipline and understanding and control of creating the life I want to have now. And yourself, Anna? My name is Anna Furia. Everybody calls me Furia. Uh, I am a professional dancer, a specialty in breaking. I am dancing since 2011. And I am from Barcelona, but actually I'm living in Madrid. When I dance, I feel free. The Olympic Games uh, 2024 in Paris is gonna be the, the first year like breaking inside to the Olympics. And it's mean a lot for me to be part of this. When I am feeling like I am eating right and I am sleeping the, the time I need it, I, I really feel my body completely in peace and harmony with everything. And my energy, I think it's more clear too. A happy body means a happy mind. Exactly, in that sense completely, as well. completely. Yeah. Yeah. And yourself, Kyle? Well, I think the first thing that everybody thinks about when you say a healthy habit is nutrition. Mm -hmm. But uh, I agree that it's important, but I think the thing that's becoming even more important now is just the mental aspect of everything. And when I was going through all my surgeries and all my recoveries, uh, mentally, I was so far ahead of where I was physically mm -hmm. that I just propelled myself to give back even quicker. Yeah. Um, so I would argue that just being mentally ready and focused on what you're trying to do can can overcome any physical limitation that you're having at that point. Um, you know, professionally and for personally, uh, I really had to take a specific look at food and what I was eating, how I was eating, and how much, just so I could build my body back up, and then to try and keep um, some consistency in how my body was reacting and uh, recovering. And um, it not only helped me physically, but mentally, I had to become a lot stronger, and it propelled me to return back to playing a lot quicker than the doctors had told me. Uh, so it was a really overall positive experience that helped me grow a lot. So, and what are some examples of healthy habits that you tend to go with um, to help you out uh, if we start with yourself? He's trying to switch television, uh, mobile phone before I sleep. <laughs> Half the time you realize, what am I looking at? There's no need. It's an habit that you take that you put the TV and then you, you sleep, but mm. at the end I think you don't disconnect at all. And that's. I don't see how pe a lot of people I know, they sleep with the television on. I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds stressful. A healthy habit that I've picked up recently is journaling. Simple, simply answer three three questions. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? This can be positive or negative. And then the last one is, what can you do about? So you can reflect on what's what? happened in the past and go, actually, I'm on a good pathway. I'm seeing some change. Mm -hmm. And that makes a big difference. Makes a huge difference, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just uh, having that, because sometimes you can't always talk to somebody, like a therapist yeah. or whatnot, which yeah. I highly, I'm pro-therapy, yeah. uh, but that writing down has been like therapeutic for me. Yeah. No, it is important to know about yourself, because mm. sometimes we try to help others, but we never think about ourselves and trying yeah. to understand what we need or who we are. Letting go of the ego and allowing yourself to change, yeah, and you exactly. can see yourself develop, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, for me, I cut a little bit my social life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a, just a bit. <laughs> a little bit. Like, um, in this high level, I can keep this lifestyle. I'm trying to wake up early and push a lot of hours practicing. It's not healthy for my body and I can do it. What I've started changing is when I wake up in the morning is not going straight to the social Strolling. media. <laughs> <laughs> I do take the phone, but I do it for meditation. Okay, nice. So you still use it, but you kind of get nice. uh, you know, a better wake up. And it started to really help me just uh, stay focused and be present at where you are. In the yes. And 
Are there things that because of the routine that you have that you feel you're not you're sacrificing in a way? So as an athlete, I feel that when you take something as a routine, it's complicated to go away. It's hard to come back, but I also think that it is such a long season that after the long season, you need a break. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. Have to. Yeah. so I take, you know, that yes. week where I eat anything. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter, like, because I don't eat ice cream or candy or all the sweets during the season, but that one week on vacation with my kids, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. eating more ice cream than they are. <laughs> <laughs> You're making up for it. But then after that one week, it's like, okay, I've had enough. I want my mm. body to come back to, yeah, to exactly. reality yeah. and, and go yeah. back to my routines. When you're racing, like, what's your training regimen like to push your body in? Normally, I, I like to cardio. Cardio sports are important for us, but it is important not on the bike because at the end of the bike, you don't need a lot of cardio. But lower the heart rate is, better you can think. Yeah. But I can do, I don't know, I can do gym, everything that when you go again on the season, the first day is are, are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, yeah. here, everywhere. It's you know, true. I can do everything. But at the end, bike need bike. For myself, my non-negotiable, my healthy habit is I need eight hours sleep. That's, that's what I need. If I don't get my eight hours, I can't perform in my job the next day. However, when it comes to weekends, I tend to relax, have a drink, maybe not have the healthiest diet, but coming back to then on a Monday, back to my routine. That weekend is my release valve and I, I, I allow myself to have that, but I'm not an elite sports person for yourselves what are you missing in terms of your general life that your friends might be doing that you feel like i wish i was doing that but i can't because i'm in this environment at the moment now you know like in summer especially i have competitions still and so i see a lot of people in vacations in a special place and i was like eh, i need to be there <laughs> <laughs> but i can't i need to be focused on my way so this sometimes made me feel like Damn, I miss this, but... You know, when I'm in season, I, I have such, you know, strict routines that I stick to it. And I think it's maybe a little bit too obsessive mm. to where my wife would be like, let's go to lunch. No, I can't go to lunch. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're going to cook and how many ounces my chicken's going to yeah. be. And yeah. so I like to be very strict. Uh, but like you said, my release is my off day. Yeah. Is I sleep in later than normal. I have something different for lunch and I'm trying to enjoy, you know, what I'm working so hard for. For me, it's curious because when I want to release all the stress, I go with the bikes. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's your stress relief. Yes, for me, it's very curious because at the end, I love this sport. You know, I love because I'm doing it since I'm a kid and it's my joy. Uh, I guess for me, uh, in this period of my life, my recovery during my journey is like the most important thing. And I'm so grateful for my wife in this time because she will like, she will challenge me to make sure that I'm prioritizing that you know I realize I look at the big picture and especially like for my daughter she's she saw me before my accident and then she sees me in the middle and I'm just thinking like to to get back to walking again the witness and the strength and that she's gonna have and for my wife I'm like I gotta just keep staying committed to this because it's not about the short term I'm thinking about the big picture long term so I, I do miss certain parts but when I think about that I'm like it's all right like I, I can sacrifice for now for what's what's to come in the future. <laughs> Brilliant. Yo, man, look at me, man. I look good, I look good, I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good, I look good, I come on. I'm in love with a girl. I've always felt that health is the most important thing. If you're healthy, you're active, you're gonna be able to learn more, absorb more and have more energy and so forth. Even if the day changes, it's all the same. You rolling up the block, but you in the wrong lane. You hating on a brother, man, you must be insane. I look good. I look good. I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good. I look good. Come on. I look good. I look good. I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good. I look good. Come on. I look good, I look good, I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good, I look good, I come on.